I'm interested to see how the Me Gunner goes, because after Smash 4, Me Gunner was not really looked as good, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. So it looks like Wadi is pummeling up. They're going right at it. Wadi going for the spike there, not quite getting it. And there he gets the spike. Easily able to recover that, and that's a quick stock down. So it looks like the crown is going to beat out most of Young Link's projectiles. And there's one crack in the armor. There's two cracks. So I believe it's one more, or... I'm not 100% sure how this is working. And still no crown back. So, oh, and he's there he's going to pick it up. Going for the blunderbuss and not quite getting anything to work. Trying to nair on shield, probably to set up for some aerial afterwards. It's interesting that Wadi's not really playing at all offensive against a character that's probably much better at camping him, camping him out of Young Link. Young Link's dare almost killing K. Rule off the top at 165. Definitely killed off the top in melee. I'm not sure if that transferred over. And Wadi is onto Rob. One of his Smash 4 mains. He is at Wadi Rob on Twitter, so he probably takes a good bit of pride in this character. Looks like I'm going to be joined on commentary. So, Seagull onto the wolf. Wadi still on Rob. Wadi definitely racking up the percents with this Rob. And welcome. How are you, man? Uh, doing good. How about you? I am having a good time. Very electric feeling. The first ultimate event. I can't even believe we're here right now, bro. I mean, yeah, it's been a long wait. It has. Long time coming, man. Oh, up air not quite killing. Not Smash 4 levels of powerful, sadly. Oh no, oh no. But Nair out of shield will definitely pop him. Ooh, and the back air. Absolutely. Love that little animation oh when yeah. final hit happens. Very beautiful. Adds a huge layer of hype to every single last stock situation. I mean, I always find it hilarious when it's like some really weak move gets that. Yeah. It's even funnier when it's like, like a grab or something. Like one of my favorites that I've seen get it is... Uh, Kirby down air oh, at like yeah. 50%. <laughs> it's just like, it shouldn't kill. It really shouldn't. But you know it's going to kill because oh, yeah. it's Kirby. And they just kind of slowly descend to the bottom. So have you seen much of Wadi's Me Gunner? I have not. Oh, you, well, you know what? I saw a little bit of it um, earlier in the squad stripe bracket. Um, he actually took a game with the Me Gunner being like on his last resort. So oh. um, I think he's pretty confident. Player of the caliber of Wadi, I mean, any character's just about good. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But Siegel can definitely also put in the work. Absolutely, he can hold his own. Veteran of the scene. Looks like Siegel's switching, er, not switching up, but starting with this Young Link. Young Link. Mashing out really fast. Very, yeah, so with that with that um, down throw, it doesn't have as much time to stay buried as the uh, down tilt does, which I have noticed, because when you get buried with down tilt, you stay in there for quite a bit of time. Does it scale with percent, though? Is it... it it doesn't feel like it does. It really doesn't feel like it does. I remember I was at very high percent earlier, and I kind of got right out of there instantly. But I guess that would make sense to kind of balance that, you know, you're just getting down through. Maybe you don't deserve to be, you know, buried for like five whole seconds for that. It looks like no matter what, jab is guaranteed off of Absolutely, it, which looks yes. like good. Nice and fair. Oh, bomb. Prob is that poking his shield? I can't I, tell. I think that so. That up smash first hit is very strong. It is very strong, but if you miss it, you... Look a little silly. I mean, yeah. It's a great animation. I oh, love yeah. it. Leaves you quite vulnerable, though. This King K. Rule, man, very interesting character. Everything about him, like, the way that he moves around and the way that his hitboxes kind of flow, it seems like he shouldn't be as good, but he just seems so strong. I I'd say, like, given that, what, is he one of the second or third heaviest character he, in the game? I, I think he is the heaviest character, if not second. I believe He's he definitely is one of the heaviest, Absolutely. and his amazing recovery coupled with that. Yes. Uh, we already saw one. We are, we saw one K rule gimp earlier, uh, really? with, by King Chrome Fisher. Wow. Where he basically did the DDD 
kill where he oh, sucked him yes. in. With the, he shot the blunderbuss off stage, mm -hmm. sucked him in, Super and effective. stage spiked with it. Wow. So like, unlike a Kirby throw, it actually can stage spike. Yes. So you can probably see that gim coming, Ooh. not from a player not like Wadi. Right I don't though. think he'd go for that kind of thing. Yeah. Little Seagull bit of a evening move. it up. Wadi onto this rob. Oh yeah. Up air still very good. It, I don't think you pop out as much as Yeah, you. not at all. So they definitely fixed a lot of multi hits. Mm -hmm. Although I think it did lose a lot of power from that. Question, how present is SDI in this game, um, if it is at all? I don't 100% know. I, it definitely feels like it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how much of a difference. Like, I generally say I have decent SDI, but not enough to... Yeah, to really tell. So it's interesting that... Siegel was immediately able to get out of that down throw. Yeah. Look how fast he matched that. Super Very quick. similar to K rule. Oh yeah. I think that they're gonna try to m balance those those burials just on the throws because on other moves like um, Inkling's roller, I mean you're in there forever. Yeah. Whereas but Inkling's roller is also like less safe because this is off of a throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inkling's roller like stops on shield. Yeah. That's an interesting. Very, throw. very unsafe on shield. And here we go with Siegel with that wolf. Siegel's definitely, he's definitely putting in work with this Wolf. Absolutely. Making a statement for how good Wolf is and yes. how good he is with Wolf. Glad to see Wolf back, man. It's glad to see everybody back in this game. So yeah. many characters. Very interesting fair play from Wadi right here. Just trying to use that projectile, that gyro to keep him away. It looks like Siegel was able to cancel, like, yeah, drop canceling. his shine pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I know it's like frame six in tangibility. That sounds about what Siegel said. Right now, Siegel's gonna Good have to drift. figure something out on his last character, but he can get Wadi out of here, 336%. Yeah, it's, but then he has to deal with a full stock yep, of Inkling. A fresh, or Meat Gunner, rather. A fresh oh, Meat Gunner. Gunner, yeah, yeah. I thought that was Inkling, my bad. It did kind of look like Inkling. Can we just say, that costume yeah, is probably the best costume. Yeah, can we talk about this costume? I, I like, I wish it would show up in the character portrait. Yeah. Because that is a godlike costume. Absolutely. So first, like, I played a little bit of Meme Gunner mm -hmm. for fun in Smash 4. First thing I'm noticing, Fair looks smaller. It, yeah, it but does. But it has a lot less lag. Wow. Uh, is he OK? No, no. Meme Gunner's recovery is good. Oh, wow. OK. Oh. Right now, Siegel trying to get something oh. going with the forward smash. Before Let's he can go. Before he can even snap the ledge. Wow. What a comeback. Down two characters. That little screen at the end who, that shows like which stocks took which is really cool. Yes. I love it. A lot of detail in this game, man. Labor of love. Definitely a labor of love. Wadi looking like he's laughing it off. Yeah. Checking the I don't over think he meant list. to do that uh, neutral V. Yeah, probably not. Or he meant to shoot a little bit higher. Very early on in this game. Siegel tossing the paper. Yeah. Just like, yeah, whatever, let's it. just go to Smashville. Go back to Smashville. Smashville's like home, man. Yeah, can't, you can't ever go wrong. Although uh, some of the new stages, like newly competitive stages, have definitely grown on me. Oh yeah. Uh, Castle Siege with the small blast zones is always interesting. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I am not a fan. <laughs> I am not a fan of Castle Siege. I mean, I had one moment where pop someone up with a Ganon uh, dash attack. Mm -hmm. They missed the tech on the platform. Free forward smash killed at 30. Jesus Christmas! <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a horrible and great stage at the same it time. It is. Why? Going with the same, uh, they're both going from the same order. Okay. Seagulls, uh, Seagull went Bowser first during mm. game one. That didn't work out so well. Nah. He got spiked almost immediately oh, yeah. by the K rule. Yikes. Here we go. K rule and I want to say Toon Link, Young Link. Oh, crack See that on the belly armor. cracking a little bit. So how does that work? Is it like he only has? Does it? He can like take I can a see the crack right now. So. It's it's a damage based thing based on what attack hits. So if it's just like a regular like maybe like a tilt or something or a projectile, it can take maybe three. But if it's something like a full charge smash attack or like a like a huge well maybe like a Ganon F tilt, it'll crack immediately. Not a, not on Ganon F tilt won't crack immediately, but a smash attack it's gone immediately. Okay. And it's pretty much a shield break. If yes. It does? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. And it looks like it recovers over time, so that's an interesting. Yes, mechanic. it does heal. It heals a little bit over time, so it's not its not like you have to deal with it for your entire stock, which is really good. So it's like a shield? Yeah. That's cool. And it's super useful because on any move where he exposes his belly, if it trades with something, it's just going to have 100% priority over it. That's really useful. 
Only Especially on something like that Nair. Oh yeah, it does it on F-Tilt too, and F-Tilt being so strong, being such a big kill move, um, don't want to trade with it. Bonnie's definitely looked like he's willing to play this patient game against Siegel. Yeah, and but he's gonna have I'm to. I'm not sure it's gonna work out super well. Yeah, as of right now, Siegel's been in the driver's seat. I mean, this is also how it looked first game, or not first game. It sure is. Here we go. Oh, going for the up air yeah. read with the mash out. Do you think that eventually players are gonna start mashing out, Absolutely. like mixing it up on mash out to like go for the up air versus S smash? Me personally, up? I've already been doing it. Honestly, like. With these burials, so many moves have burials now, and like your instinct is just to mash every button and jump out immediately. But people are gonna catch on, absolutely. Yeah. But I know that like, ooh, ooh very that was nice a very good catch. Reminiscent of Smash Four, We Fit Trainer oh, yeah. does that combo a lot. One of the bread and butters. Here we go with Seagull with this Bowser, and spacing out that fear, trying to keep him on that ledge. Ooh, that dealt a good bit of damage. It sure did. So just try to keep him out. Very good no, I didn't that expect Siegel to bring out a Bowser. Me, neither have I. Neither it's did like, I. It just doesn't seem like a character he'd play, given that he's played like Sonic's Diddy's. Yeah. Very small, quick characters, but now come out with a heavy hitter. I mean, Bowser's by no means slow. Oh, yeah, not anymore. And it looks like his aerials come out pretty fast. Very quick. Wadi going really high. Very high. Trying to dodge out. And man should get back down. Back to neutral and almost completely even. Almost. Ooh, Ooh peeking nice up poke. from under. Very nice. But that down air is going to take that stock. Only me, Gunner, left for Wadi. Very clean. And this is still best of three, I believe. So. Oh, okay. And I just got confirmation. It is still best of three. Oh, okay. So this is Wadi's potentially winner's stock. Just got to be careful. Ooh, lots of shield damage that on that. That shield's almost gone. Sit up there, charge to try to keep him away from him. Wadi's very fine taking this oh, slow. Oh, yes. Oh, down smash first hit. If you main Rob, you have to be okay with taking it slow. I mean, but Siegel's also no stranger to playing it slow. Not at he, all. He played Smash 4 Sonic after so all. Oh, my God, the patience. Here we go with this wolf. These up airs, 85 on Wadi already. But it looks uh, like, oh, it, so Siegel mm -hmm. definitely making this his anchor. Oh, yeah. Very good idea. And I like it. I like the strategy. Keep what would you what you would think is your strongest character last, just in case you're getting put in a bad situation. You have someone that you're super confident with to try to clutch one out, and Ooh, he's not going to be able to clutch that out Wadi. That was bad DI. Yeah, I didn't think he should have died from that. Yeah, like there was no sparks or anything. Definitely yeah. not that final hit KO that we're yeah. used to. I wonder if just Wadi was not expecting. I roll. <laughs> 